Hi, this is Exxon Agile Practitioners and uh, today we will talk about starting Agile product development with our clients. And with me, of course, is Jarek and Piotr. And my name is Vasha. Hello. 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 Hi. Agile Practitioners is all about uh, practice in uh, software development, in Agile mm -hmm. methods. We focus on, on Scrum, actually. Yes? Yes. Okay, so how does it happen that we start a collaboration with a client? We start uh, with a meeting, and a very long meeting. Yes, we don't either start with uh, reading specifications uh, or just following specifications that someone might provide us. Okay, so I want to have a product built by Exolve. So what should I do? I should write us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, f first of all, we, we want our teams uh, to be involved in the product development. First step is actually to meet the team. So the product owners, Scrum Master, all the developers, graphic designers, uh, QA engineers and others. Uh, they all meet in one place and one time to discuss how we can approach the product development. It's totally different to have such a discussion in one building, in one place, than just remotely. Our developers will understand the product. It's very important. So we book at least uh, two days, yes. and sometimes it's even, uh, even, even more, more uh, on actually talking about products. So we have this process which we call discover the product, and uh, what is the first, the first part? Uh, well, actually, it has uh, several steps. We need to gain knowledge about uh, several aspects of, of the product development. And uh, one of them is uh, actually the product canvas, which uh, is a tool that helps us to uh, gather all the basic but um, very crucial information about the product. This part covers the business uh, things. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And usually we have this draft of product canvas before the workshop. But uh, on this workshop, will we also discuss it? We sometimes we refine it? Yes, we have the whole team on place, so we can discuss the product goal, what the MVP might be for, for our client, um, what are the expected uh, time frames for the development, uh, and, and, and so on. Okay, so the second step is the product backlog. Uh, the product backlog is actually a definition of, of what needs to be done in the product development. Uh, it contains all the functional, let's see, requirements or expectations. It's uh, estimated during the work workshop. Uh, we take care about defining what actually done means for every product backlog item. So at this step we also discuss some process aspects of the development, like what the definition of done would be for the product items. Yeah, because we found out, and we are not the first one uh, who, who did it, that uh, uh, done means very different things for different persons. So, <laughs> like you mentioned, it's very important to, to agree uh, what done means at the beginning. So we have this product backlog, which is estimated. We have uh, some kind of definition of done, and sometimes, if possible, definition of ready. During uh, estimations, we also have the user story mapping. Uh, it's very useful technique. <laughs> very useful technique which uh, helps us to define priorities. User story mapping uh, is often a central point of product discovery session uh, because um, it helps us to, ask, to get answers to the information what is really the most important thing in, in the product development. But it's, uh, it's also worth to mention that we do not only speak about business and functional requirements but also about non-technical uh, requirements which are very important. The non-functional requirements often have uh, impact on, on the estimation, so this is uh, really important to discuss them at this moment. Also, we should uh, discuss about uh, expected performance, number of users, uh, peak usage, uh, how, how the scalability would work in, in, should work. Is it a long-term solution or just an experiment for a few months? So these are very important aspects and uh, we also discuss them at this stage. The first step is uh, plan a release. Yes. yes. How this is so, happening? So again, uh, everyone is gathered in one place. Uh, yeah, it's also a part of this workshop, right? So if, when we yes. have, uh, when we have uh, product canvas, when we have this uh, backlog, 
release planning is actually um, uh, another meeting or continuation of uh, project workshops. This meeting is to confirm what is the goal for the first release, um, what, what, is the what is the scope, what is the time frame, uh, what are the um, what what is the team that is going to, to be uh, working with that uh, product? So uh, all the all the developers in the team are known and uh, um, and uh, attend this meeting as well. And uh, the th third thing that we need to um, agree on is, is actually the process. So how long the sprint will take, and um, how will look the process? Uh, what will yeah, what tools do we use? How we will communicate? Uh, yes, how we deploy the software, uh, what's the infrastructure. Um, yeah. But, also, uh, but also risks, right? Uh, it's uh, very often we forget about it, but it's a very important thing that we, uh, we cover uh, risk planning for release. And when we have all of this, we can start the development. Finally. 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 Yeah. So how it looks like? Well, the team sits in a dark place <laughs> and behind the computers, and they become silent. You know, they're hitting the keys and hitting coding, the keys, coding, 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 coding. But again, not so fast. We start. Uh, we start from planning, of course. Of course. Yes. Sprint planning, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we plan the sprint. Yeah, so uh, actually there are several aspects of the process uh, regard, uh, when it comes to um, uh, development, the actual development. Um, one is sprint planning, um, which, is, um, which, which takes place <laughs> just before every sprint. Uh, sprints are two weeks long, usually. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Why, why do we laugh? Because we we were talking about um, you know. Uh, Don't say fix like usually. Yeah. And how how long the sprints <laughs> last in our company? So Basha was like, oh, okay. Sometimes it's one week or three weeks. You cannot say two weeks. Two and weeks. Yeah. So always. Two weeks. Two weeks. Only two weeks. Always, always two weeks. Yeah. Uh, we have backlog refinement, which is a often continuous process of uh, refining product backlog items. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we, have this, we have this two sprints, uh, two sprints in advance. Sometimes one sprint in advance. Um, but a good practice, too. good practice, as they uh, teach us at school, is three weeks, uh, three sprints uh, in front to have a really good estimated and planned uh, uh, sprint yeah. backlog. If pro if product development plans don't change so often, because yeah. otherwise it would be a waste. So the sprint planning and uh, what comes after uh, this uh, this sessions is actually well uh, executive work uh, where where we create uh, software. So to sum up, the first the point in our process is meeting with the whole team. The second one is discovering the product. The third one is planning a release, and the fourth one is planning the sprint. And there we go. Yay! <laughs> ciao. ciao. Let us know what do you want to hear next time. Leave us a comment and see ya. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Thank, Thank you. Bye bye.